Hello my Owlets and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm talking about two different things. I'm going to talk about my one little word journal which we kind of went over um, oh, where we talked about January a while back and then also want to talk about how I'm going to be incorporating the 100 day project challenge into my one little word. So um, basically we went over you know I talked about how I put this together and then, you know, I created this little trail with the game pieces from Dollar Tree. This is the Candyland Dollar Tree um, game pieces. And it's kind of like a little walking trail through the journal. This is what I did for uh, February. And then it picked back up. And we're going to, this is where I'm going to talk about what the challenge is going to be. So the challenge for the 100 day project is kind of like you can do anything and whatever your heart desires I know it was geared kind of like maybe towards art that's what my main thing was and then uh, I read um, some information I think on her website uh, and I'll leave that link below you can sign up and get um, get information that way but she talked about even if you brush your teeth like that's your daily photo <laughs> So, uh, so basically, I really am wanting to incorporate my word into my everyday life. That's what I. That's why I picked this word. That's what I want to do. So I thought this would be a great way to challenge myself every day to kind of like do something, create something, pay attention more to something that um, that I'm kind of doing with my word. My word is recreate, and. It's like I'm just, okay, so I really am wanting to kind of, I feel like I'm, uh, it's really a time thing and it's like a stress thing. Not, I don't even think I'm really that stressed, but it's a time thing and it's a, um, I don't know, just kind of slowing down, you know, making time. And, uh, you know, I, I was reading over this a little bit last night when I was putting together my trail and, you know, it's just kind of like, I want to add more calm, magical moments, which are already here. I just need to live in these moments. So that's really what I'm going to try to capture in my challenge is, for example, one of the things that I, I'm such a, uh, which I'm really proud of myself, I'll have to tell you guys in just a minute, but like a procrastination, like I'm, I, I find myself procrastinating. I have this gossip bench that I bought few years ago it needs to be repainted and, and it's gonna be adorable when I get it done it's been sitting here and it's like get it done pay attention slow down make time you know and it's not even has to do with physical it could be making a special cup of coffee it could be putting on cute clothes it could be making your bed every morning so those are the kind of things that I want to do um, in my everyday life and really pay attention to those and I feel like it's gonna make it a little bit more calming and even like the other day when I was putting together all the kits you know uh, the fairy tale kit I was tying the bow on the front and I was just it was instead of like rushing you're rushing I just calmed down and I was thinking I hope whoever receives this enjoys this and plays with it and has a lot of fun and when they open their package up they're excited so it was just like little things like it's a mindset thing and I'm looking at my vision board which is we put it in here but it says mindful journaling so this is kind of part of that mindful journaling I feel like um, so yeah so that's kind of my challenge and I was thought what I would do is show you guys oh this is a, a picture from I call them mr. and mrs. they are the neighbors <laughs> chickens and they decided to roost on our back porch for a couple of days and I guess they're on vacation <laughs> see I'm making up a cute little story how fun is that <laughs> But anyway, I was just using this as a sample because I was trying to get my IV printer to work, but I was kind of using this as an example of posting pictures in here as my one little word challenge as I post them on Instagram. So coming in here and, you know, I don't have to write a story. I can just put a date stamp and I really feel like I don't want to make this too complicated where I feel overwhelmed and I quit, you know, that's, that's the thing or I get way behind and I'm like, oh. You know, it's another thing that I have to keep up with. So I'm already going to be doing this on Instagram. I'm just going to be printing out. I'm hoping to use my IV printer for these and then just post them in here and date stamp it. So I really want to prep my pages and I'm going to write up here like the 100 day challenge. Maybe I should kind of put what my thought process incorporating my word. That's really what it is. I don't need to 
overthink it, overdo it. Um, so, so yeah, so here's my little trail. And what I started doing um, is I'm running out of game pieces, you guys. I'm going to have to go over to Dollar Tree and see if I can find another Candyland game because I had everything in here. Sorry for the crackling. But I'm running out of like gang pieces. I know that seems like a lot, but for me to think about going through the next 12 months, or actually now we're on 10 months till the end of the year already, you guys. So, but I did bust, I did look up and I had the shoots and ladders that I bought, but I really don't think there's anything, unless I cut a ladder out. I, that might be kind of cute. Let's open it up and see. But, so I started adding, like, I have these little hearts, you know, little cutouts, and then I added flowers, and then I started getting into, because I really want to make my little trout, like, I'm trying to say, stop and smell the flowers, you know, it's like, all like a visual thing, um, but I started using bits and pieces from my Happy Planner stickers, so that really kind of added a couple little pieces in here. So that that's I think with that I'll be able to get through. Let's see if I can get this opened. Oh my heavens, look at that little teeny tiny dice. My daughter will love that. That's so cute. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get back over to Dollar Tree and see if they have any more of these little um, games. But, you know, I might be able to cut out a ladder here and there, you know, and add it. Because, um, like here, you know, maybe going to the next page or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's go ahead. I thought what I would do is come on and try and show you guys how I do my pages. So let's see here. Let's move this stuff around. We've got this. So basically what I do is I come in here and get my scissors out. Or did I already have my pair of scissors? I thought I had. I, I have a couple of these Tim Holtz scissors. I love them. I always try to keep them. Oh, there they are. But we'll just go ahead and use these. So I basically just kind of cut it down more. And then I want to start, make sure that I, um, I want to make sure I start where, oh, it's up here. Okay, where I left off. So, of course, I add some coloring to the back of the pages, but we don't really. I can come in here and do that in a little bit. And if I wanted to add a heart. I don't know. I was thinking about, I'm trying to create like different. I may just go across the top because. Um, I'm trying to create like different ways and that leaves this whole page down here to fill up with photographs from my daily pictures. And in this case, I don't think the ladders would work because it's more or less a, you know, up, up. I'm not going down, or I guess I could use it for down, but I really feel like I would probably use the ladders. You know, let's do it. Let's make it interesting. So I'm going to cut this cute little ladder out here. Last time I checked, the one, I go to two different Dollar Trees typically that are in my area. It seems like one had them, and I don't remember seeing them at the other one. But I wasn't really looking for them either, so. And 
And I really feel like this project is like going to be able to really help me focus on bringing my word to life within my everyday world, every day, you know? Um, cause I know even when I was filling out February, I was kind of getting that. I just don't want to have, I guess what I'm really trying to keep myself from that. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say, um, stress, but not paying attention, feeling overwhelmed, just typical life stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it exactly. Let's see here. I was going to use, we're gonna, we'll use some wording out of Tim Holtz. How about that? So let's go ahead and look into, oops, I want to make sure that that little sticks down. That's where I came in and like, especially on this journal, I noticed that the, the seam is really odd. So I'm having to like really squish it down but if for example these game pieces are kind of thick you could try to tear off the back but one of the things that I was what I um, started doing was adding that's where I would kind of add some florals in there to kind of um, like with the clear backings let's see if I can find it find one with a clear like this one for example I could put this like right here and that way it kind of holds her down but it doesn't hide her image and it creates a, a continuous I'll put some up here too so it kind of brings it together okay and then let's see here I think it was this one I'm just looking at the outside here that has those little squares that really works Ooh, this one might be kind of a fun little this one really has them in there this one might be kind of fun to add and it would really make a a larger oh right here like right here that's a big stepping stone and you could take a put a picture in there Again, it's like whatever, I'm just kind of like, I think once I start adding, right now it's like, okay, this is a little bit on the odd side. Um, <laughs> but I think as you go along and you make your collage of photographs, it's going to be amazing. It's, I'm going to love it. I know I will. And it's not just, you know, I like variety too, so that's always... helpful let's put another one of these so that the trail really looks like that's what I'm trying to try uh, spit it out <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say consistent with these um, game pieces because I feel like that's how I started it and it just it it makes more sense to me to kind of put these in here. I'm going to bring this up because we're going to go continue on our journey onto the next page. And let me look in here for my sister and I, we had a great weekend together. Um, and we were talking about how we are such sticker addicts and I had to be a true confession because I bought these two recently couldn't help it they're seasonal they're like so pretty and I have used the tar out of them so um, okay so let's let's throw in a couple of Tim Holtz and that's what I like about the sayings too you can put those on there um, but like you could put explore here I mean, I, I just love these words. You can use them anywhere. And then, like, I still feel like, you know, we need to add some florals on here. I've used a ton of these florals. I just love these because they have sparkles on there. So we can... 
I used a lot of orange on this page. I'll just kind of add. I'll put it right there. And so I feel like as I go along and add my pictures, I can continue adding more collage pieces and stuff like that. Like I said, I want to keep this as simple as possible because I don't want it to be, you know, overwhelming and me get behind and it's another stress factor or anything like that. One of the things I did try once I got my game pieces and things in there, I kind of do my polka dots, which is, you know, my dot action, which is something I typically do in most of my journals anyway. I need to fill this one up, but I kind of started right here and so yeah but and see I just kind of add stickers here and there and as I cr create more I can put in um, you know collage pieces or whatever so all right you guys so that is the plan I'm gonna try to I was thinking about doing like some pretty wording up here or um, I definitely need to put a title so I will work on that and then we'll start with the first picture so um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm Rebecca Hoot on Instagram, and I'll be posting my daily pictures that will be going in here. And then I'll probably end up like doing like a screenshot, you know, um, post as well. So I am so excited about this challenge. I think it's, I think it's working for me, not only um, for me to get to. Um, really focus on my word, you know, that's really, but also kind of just that's exactly what I wanted to do and I think having a challenge every day to like pay attention to those things is going to really help me um, be successful so wish me luck alright you guys y'all have a super sparkly day and I will see you in my next video bye bye